What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we are in the new 2020 Audi A3 courtesy of Sun Motor Cars in Mechanicsburg, PA. And so yes, I do believe the redesign is right around the corner, but yet I still wanted to check this one out because this looks like such a fun car. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so to start, there are two different trim levels for the 2020 Audi A3. First one being the premium starting at $33,300. Then you have the premium plus starting at $36,300. And so next when it comes to the power plant, the power numbers are actually going to differ whether you go with the front wheel drive setup versus the all wheel drive setup. For instance, if you were to go with that front wheel drive configuration, you will find a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine. This particular setup is going to put out 184 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque, of course sent to the front wheels through a seven speed dual clutch, giving you a zero to 60 time approximately 6.6 .6 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 27 in the city, 36 on the highway taking, actually check this out, regular unleaded fuel, 87 octane. And I emphasize this because there aren't many luxury automakers out there making their cars to take anything other than premium unleaded fuel. So it's kind of nice that the A3 is gonna save you a little bit of money there. But on the other hand, if you were to go with the all wheel drive configuration, again, still powering the beast as a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder. However, this one bumps the power numbers up to 228 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels through Audi's legendary Quattro all-wheel drive system. That power sent to the ground once again through a seven-speed dual clutch with a zero to 60 time, quite a substantial difference between the two. 5.4 seconds. We all know Audi tends to under promise and over deliver. So in reality, zero to 60 time is probably a bit quicker than that, but still MPG numbers on this setup coming at 22 in the city, 30 on the highway. But once again, taking regular unleaded fuel or 87 octane, once again, saving some money there. So that's pretty cool. But nonetheless, before we do any kind of accelerations in the A3, I did want to mention there are some driving modes, of course, through Audi's drive select buttons. But before we do that, let's do a quick little turning radius test here. That might be the very best turning radius that I've experienced in quite a while. Wow, that is a very sharp turning radius. So that is definitely a plus with it being a smaller car, I guess. That kind of thing might be needed. That is definitely nice to know on this one. Nonetheless, that drive select button is located just above the climate control settings there. So when you press that, you have comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. And so I did just put it in that dynamic driving mode. Did immediately downshift for me. So it is gonna hold the RPMs at a much higher level. However, it will also adjust throttle response as again I just experienced and steering sensitivity to a certain degree that is one thing with Audis it does adjust the steering sensitivity but really just ever so slightly not too much so it is kind of still on the looser side of things but it is still a slightly heavier weight to it so I didn't want to say that but now that we have gotten that out of the way what do you say let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration here and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2020 Audi A3 here up to speed and here we go Wow. <laughs> Dang, did not expect that. I've driven the S3 before and that had absolutely breathtaking acceleration, but wow, for the standard A3 with Quattro well, we'll go drive setup that we have today, really, really nice acceleration. I'm kind of impressed there. Kind of did a little bit throw my head into the back of the headrest. That was really fun. I like that. But so anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.4 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.2 inch solid rear discs. As far as the braking feel goes, I've had absolutely no issues. There's no brake pedal delay or anything like that in the A3. So that's always nice. Touching on suspension and handling a little bit, up front you're going to find the McPherson strut front suspension, in the back a four link rear suspension, and I did want to mention to you guys there is an optional sport suspension system, or aka lowering springs essentially, available for $250, which actually lowers the ride height by 15 millimeters, which is going to result essentially in better handling, and the opposite end of the spectrum a little bit firmer ride, but if you don't mind it like I don't, that's kind of cool. But so anyways, all in all, touching on ride quality, I've had no issues today. And some of the roads are quite punishing here in PA. So the A3 has certainly been soaking them up just fine. So no issues there. 
Touching on steering feel, again, going back to steering feel, I wouldn't have minded a little heavier of a weighted steering wheel on this one, especially in dynamic mode, but still, it does still feel just fine, so no issues for me. Cabin noise is absolutely excellent. The only cabin noise I'm really getting is coming from the AC system that I have on right now, but really, very surprising, but yet not at the same time. Of course, it's an Audi, so you expect cabin noise to be quite quiet, but it is an A3, so it's kind of a smaller car, but really, I feel like I am super loud in this video, and I'm not even trying to be, because there is such a lack of exterior noises coming into the cabin, so very impressed there, too. Touching on visibility, of course, we're in a sedan. You have absolutely no issues when it comes to visibility. I did want to mention, on top of that, rain-sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard for all trim levels, or I should say for both trim levels of the Audi A3, so it's another thing. Less you actually have to worry about, you can better focus more of your attention on actually enjoying the drive and this surprisingly quick Audi A3 so that's always a plus but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Audi A3 all right, and here she is, you guys, the 2020 Audi A3. Still looking absolutely amazing, even in the 2020 model year here. So let's go ahead and start up front. Up front, you're gonna find that Audi single frame front grille. To the side, Xenon Plus headlights with LED daytime running lights will be the standard setup. And that will come, of course, with the automatic feature as well, meaning when it starts to get dark out, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. But again, that is the standard setup. There are actually full LED headlights coming with the premium plus trim level if you wanted to go that route in case anybody was wondering what that little square box is in the lower portion of the front grille that is the sensor for the adaptive cruise control system but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side on this one black window surrounds coming standard across the board taking a look at those side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors and they will actually come heated with led integrated turn signals as well and again that is the standard setup so that is definitely a plus taking a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch double five spoke aluminum alloy wheel wheels will come with the front wheel drive configuration however if you were to go with the quattro all-wheel drive that you are currently looking at right now you will find an 18 inch dual color five spoke design that is of course what you're looking at right now it's going to be a silver and gloss black finish and i did want to also mention the all-wheel drive configuration is also going to add the s line accenting that is how you're going to get that but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back on this one led taillights are going to come standard across the board there taking a look down at the very bottom single exhaust outlet with dual chrome tips is going to come with a front wheel drive configuration however if you were to go with the all-wheel drive you will find a dual exhaust setup with chrome tips and that is currently of course what you're looking at right now so I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip And so now since we are around back to go ahead and open that rear trunk there of course is a couple different ways to go about doing that there is a button on the key fob that's probably the simplest way there's also a button on the driver's side door that is yet another way and the third way is going to be the button just above the license plate back there the kind of hidden button if you will but it's a rubberized button any of those methods you can go about opening the rear trunk but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 12.3 cubic feet if that was not enough space for you, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Then want to also mention we'll find grocery hooks and a 12-volt power outlet in the trunk if you go with the premium plus trim level that is reserved specifically for that trim. But now making your way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 35.1 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Did want to also mention though, this is something you don't usually see in a car of this size. You will find actually rear ventilation for those rear passengers as well. Usually that is typically looked over for a car of this size, but that's kind of cool. Rear center armrest with cup holders will also come standard back there. You will also find rear USB charging ports for the premium plus trim level only. Did want to also mention there's 
LED lighting back there. I found that kind of cool. And also front seat back map pockets. And I don't think anybody actually uses those to put maps in anymore, but it is of course still nice to have back there. But now make your way up to the front seats. Eight way power driver's seat with power lumbar will come standard. Leather surfaces, of course, standard across the board as well. Front seats will be heated. And I did want to add there is an optional final edition package. Final edition meaning this isn't going to be the last year they make the A3, but it is going to be redesigned very soon. But nonetheless, that final edition package goes for $800 and that is going to add sport seats with depth adjustments and contrast stitching. And this may be something I probably would recommend seeing as the seat comfort is just fine. But for more of a sporty car like the A3, this is probably a car you're going to toss around the back roads a little bit. And I wouldn't mind having a little better bolstering on the seats. And this final edition package may do just that, although we don't have it today, of course. But take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped across the board and with that final edition package again you will actually get a flat bottom steering wheel yet another feature added with that package there but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your audi logo on the one side and there is the panic button on the side of the key i think that's the first time i've seen it there that's kind of cool but Anyways, other side, you got lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear hatch. And so it is all keyless entry, actually. So all you need to do is just simply keep the key in your pocket, walk up to the A3. Once you're inside, there is a push button start located just to the left of the shifter. So simply just put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a small digital display front and center. Would have been kind of cool to see the Audi virtual cockpit in the A3, but that is not available, unfortunately. But still, to control what is on that digital display, you can use the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side there. And that is going to give you things like your radio information, Bluetooth information, how many miles you'll have left until you hit empty, trip A, trip B, and some of the other basics, of course. But now let's make our way to overall interior quality. Power sunroof is actually going to come standard. That is, of course, what you're looking at right now. Black cloth headliner also standard dual zone climate control ambient interior lighting standard for all trims and that is of course in addition to the led interior lighting that we do have here as well did want to also mention there is some new aluminum trim accents for 2020 one of the new features for the 2020 a3 that they definitely look pretty good kind of a new style to them if you will of course s line aluminum door sills and that s badging is going to be specific to the all-wheel drive of course but they definitely look pretty good down there wireless phone charger can be had with the premium plus trim level and as far as the attention to detail goes i do like the quattro badging found above the passenger side glove box and speaking of the passenger side glove box there's actually a cd player in there and it's kind of interesting just in front of the shifter there's a small rubberized cargo area as well as 12 volt power outlet and usb charging port and your cup holders will be up there as well and just behind the shifter you have your electromechanical parking brake and of course your center armrest with an auxiliary port and usb charging port within that as well very small cargo area but overall it's a smaller car so it's essentially going to do the trick there but now Let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display on this one. One of the coolest parts about this tech display is when you first start up the A3, it actually pops out of the vehicle and it kind of tucks away when you turn it off. So I don't know, that's kind of cool there. Nonetheless, seven inch display screen will come standard to control what is on that display screen. There's a circular dial and buttons just behind the shifter there. So nonetheless, that is going to include Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Of course, can check out your drive mode selection up there as well, or Audi Drive Select can actually adjust your climate control settings up there and of course your radio settings and by the way when it comes to the sound system you guys ready 10 speakers with 140 watts will be the standard setup however if you were to jump up to the premium plus you will find a 14 speaker bang and olsen sound system with 705 watts and so though we do have that 10 speaker sound system today so what do you say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> Actually pretty decent, decent amount of bass. Clarity was really good actually, but 10 speakers is really a sweet spot 
for clarity, in my personal opinion, for the size of this vehicle, that sound system was plenty. So definitely no issues there for me. Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the tech display though, when you do put the A3 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, first thing I wanted to mention to you guys for the 2020 A3, this car is an IIHS top safety pick. So excellent start there. Front side, side curtain airbags will come standard as well as driver and passenger knee airbags is definitely a plus something that usually doesn't come standard on most vehicles actually in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also back there rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system will also come standard adaptive cruise control standard across the board once again and also audi presense basic and audi presense front which is going to include automatic emergency braking pedestrian detection things like that and then the premium plus trim level is actually going to add in addition to that an auto dimming rear view mirror blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert front and rear parking sensor sensors and high beam assist and so that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel all day long do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold